Well, we just hello. This is just a, 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 a walkthrough video of different scalable vector ISOs. So let's start with the granddaddy of them all, which was uh, the Cray Cray one. The register file for Cray one went eight. Four, six, seven, eight registers, um, and there were 64 elements in each. So, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it was not 64 here, 63 here. So, you did a well, you did set VL to say, um, uh, I'm, I'm uh, simplifying here, um, a set VL uh, uh, to 5, and then you do add V at R0, R1, R2, and what would happen is that Five adds would occur plus into there, plus into there, plus into there, plus into there, and plus into there. Okay? Real simple, simple concept. So you only have, but you, 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 you the, the instruction, because it, because this was, um, uh, such a long time ago, it's a, a risk instruction set. But there are only three bits for each of these registers because you've got not to not to seven, you've only got eight registers. But you can do every single one of those things. It's a very compact, highly compact uh, 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 um, uh, instruction because actually that one instruction could do up to 64 elements here. Small... Um, Devia de deviation MMX from 1993 patents all expired. Um, what they what those do is you have the uh, floating point registers get overloaded as integer registers. Now I'm not going to do the same scale as here. But I'm going to try and keep it roughly to this scale. This is 64 bit. You've got FP0. Uh, I think it uh, was 16. But let's say you do um, uh, add 8 on R1, F1. What it would do is it would take this 64-bit register and subdivide it uh, into 8-bit quantities. If you do add 16 on F2, floating point 2, it would divide it down into 4 16-bit quantities. Add 32, F3, and it would subdivide it down into a low half and a high half. And that's within the same re within the same register. Um, uh, so, um, uh, uh, but this is a this is a scalar floating point register, equivalent directly equivalent to one of these. Um, the other thing is that um, uh, about the Cray was what they would do is you could have a VAD thirty two. But because this register file was it, it was um, uh, uh, effectively done as a um, uh, 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 an SRAM, um, th you didn't know how the 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 the, 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 the actual register file that would you you didn't subdivide this to force it to fit particular widths. You actually reuse the um, uh, the 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 underlying register memory inside the CPU 
to, to automatically rescale it so that the um, programmer does not have to know, oh, uh, drat, um, uh, we put this vector register previously at 64-bit, uh, and now we're, doing a 30 -bit, uh, we're, now we're using that same register f uh, as a 32-bit register, what gives? Um, uh, there are conversion routines, so you would do a, a copy... Um, copy 64 to 32 from 4, 3. Things like, things like that. This is the sort of thing you have to get in. And RISC-V has, has this. Now, um, RVV, uh, you have 32 registers. Not dot dot 31. etc. Right. And this quantity of how many is not determined, not defined this quantity is exactly the same as the cray, cray, uh, the, the cray um, ISA except that um, the maximum number of elements is not defined in the ISA specification. It is defined by um, uh, uh, as, as, a, as an arbitrary limit that the hardware microarchitect may choose. Okay. Um, and what they've done is uh, 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 the, the specific um, um, wording in the specification which states that you you must not make a fundamental assumption about what this vector length is in any hardware. Um, you must use um, uh, looping that is completely um, uh, uh, independent of this um, uh, uh, length. So um, uh, uh, if you want to do... F um, uh, basically, you, 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 um, the, the, the simply, uh, simply considered harmful um, architecture, uh, 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 simply considered harmful um, uh, web page explains it very well. Um, you, you, you have a, a, a loop that um, does uh, are based on setvl, uh, where you request say um, from a register which uh, comes in as a, um, a equals 10,000 say for example um, set VL uh, to register A and what it does is it actually truncates when setting VL it truncates it to the min of max VL and the requested amount so you end up you have 50,000 things that you want to be get done it truncates it to the to uh, to max VL, then on the next loop, Linux next time round the loop, you have fifty thousand minus max VL. So let's say max VL is only four. Um, uh, uh, oh, well, let's say that max VL is a hundred thousand, and that you can uh, you've got space in your um, in your microarchitecture to do a hundred thousand simultaneous um, uh, vector elements. Um, uh, fifty thousand round the first loop, it does a uh, hundred thousand. Then the the um, you subtract that from A because you've done that work. Um, now you're down to 40,000. Next loop, 30. And it's doing, doing, doing your thing. You can complete. Um, so um, basically, the entire paradigm is based around you have to loop. And it's, it's exactly the same for the Cray, Cray 1, the Cray um, ISA. You, 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 you cannot rely on setting to an explicit... Um, you cannot rely on there being a specific number of elements. Um, and ARM SVE2 uh, is exactly the same um, uh, thing. You, you cannot rely on there being um, an exact um, a, 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 a thing because um, NEC might do something different. They might have a, a, a different v max VL. Um, uh, uh, SD Micro might uh, implement it as a different one, etc., etc. So, um, <clears throat> now... Uh, symbol V basically takes uh, a different approach. Um, what it does is extends 
the scalar register file. Normally the power ISA ends here at 31. We're extending it to go up to 127. Now this is a scalar ISA, it is a scalar uh, register file. It's not like this. It's more like this. Okay. So you need to implement byte addressable, uh, byte level write enable lines. Okay. This is still 64 bit. And there's a one uh, a byte address, uh, 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 you need one uh, uh, write enable line per, per byte. This is, by the way, in the advanced compliancy level, um, uh, not the full, uh, uh, not the, um, uh, um, the, not the, um, the, the, the lower ones. The, 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 the lower level of uh, compliancy levels, you do not have to do this. You can just rely on it being 64, you know, um, uh, uh, just having um, a standard um, uh, uh, standard register file without uh, byte level byte level write enable lines, and that's no different from a, from how an SRAM is normally done. Right, normally in SRAM you have byte level write enable lines. So let's say you do set VL equal to five. And then you do SV dot add. Where this, uh, let's do add i um, four comma four comma one. Right. This is register four. Five six, and that's uh, uh, dot 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 seven. Okay. All right. Four up to seven. All right, let's make that two. Set VL to two. Okay. Four and five. What happens here is that it says it issues two add instructions because set VL has been set to two. So you issue two scalar instructions. Not vector instructions, not like MMX where it's a fixed fixed width. It's a variable length, a dynamically scalable runtime settable length defining exactly how many of the scalar registers you wish to use and so consequently and this is the, there are only scalar instructions there are no vector instructions this is critically important the risk principle has been applied in the extreme in a uniform fashion so what happens is on the first time round the vector loop, you get an issued the first of those scalar instructions, and register four has one added to it. On the second time round this vector loop, register five has one added to it, and it's really that so that simple. Now, I'm not the first person to come up with this idea. Peter Su, the architect of the MIPS R8000, and his team discussed exactly this idea back in 1994. And the only reason they didn't go ahead with it is because it, for, for, for optimal performance at the high end, this critically relies on having an out-of-order multi-issue and engine because you're issuing multiple parallel instructions in uh, element instructions or scalar instructions um, uh, uh, simultaneously all right so if you want um, uh, uh, um, and if you have an eight-way multi-issue engine and you want to add simple v to it you simply insert you you take between the decode and the execute phase and you issue and if set VL is eight you can issue eight instructions simultaneously but it compacts that's only one instruction you didn't have to do eight instructions consequently saving on your level one cache so let's say you do the, the same thing 
um, uh, let's do uh, let's do 40 let's do SV dot add I slash elements width equals 32 we've still got set VL equals to 2 uh, comma uh, and uh, sorry I'm running out of space on here 40 comma 40 comma 1 okay so we're adding into vector register 40 the value 1 ve vector into uh, uh, 1 okay because element width equals 32 you start from here from 40 and your vector again begins from this point here because you set element with equal 32, it's subdivided into two. Using these byte addressable byte, uh, byte lines, you can set four of the bytes starting from this point. You add one to that, to the low half of register 40, the point starting from there, and you add one to that one. And that's it. You're done. Okay? So um, you can see that it's like MMX, it's like Cray vectors, but it com it's a hybrid combination of both. Right. Um, so you get the um, advantages of this, the advantages of but the of the design principles of the, of, of MMX, but without its limitations. Right. As MMX was what. Um, uh, 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 because they actually explicitly encoded the the um, uh, the, the length um, in here. The, this this had limitations, so they thought maybe, maybe what we'll do is we'll um, uh, we'll we'll do um, uh, uh, AVX two um, where uh, these get expanded out to um, to uh, um, to twice the width because that would be more powerful, right? And then. Uh, um, and then they decided, well, actually, that's not enough, so let's make it AVX 128 and let's double it again. Uh, yeah. oh, and that's not powerful enough in uh, the year 2010, so let's make it double it again. Now you're up to AVX um, uh, uh, to 2, 128. Uh, now you're up to, to 256, and now you're up to 512. And it's getting so out of control um that the power consumption of AVX 512 is so bad that you actually have to crank down the um the clock speed and you end up with worse performance so you, you, your processor heats up the intel processors when executing AVX 512 heat up they have to crank the speed down to below the performance where if you used lesser instructions it would actually execute faster and then you come out of the AVX 512 and your processor is so hot it starts executing the scalar instructions at a lower clock rate. So it really, it's, it's yeah, um, uh, uh, it's driving people nuts. Um, uh, SVE2 um, uh, uh, arm scale vectors has some, some similar concepts. Um, uh, 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 um, I, I've not completely studied um, it is the SVE2 in, in detail because it's over 10,000 instructions in total. Sorry. Um, I think that's, that's probably enough to be going on. So, yeah, thank you very much.